Hey guys, this is Emeek77 from FinalCutStudioSchool.com. Back at you with another shake tip. I got a question from a feller who wanted to know in shake, how would you go about removing something from an object? Say you wanted to remove a sign or somebody that's in your scene that shouldn't be there. I'm going to use this, this composition, this picture here to comp a camp scene. I'm going to put a barbecue and a tent and some people. And this sign is in the way, and I might even want to remove these people too. So how would I go about doing this without a clean plate and stuff? There's so many ways to do this. Um, so let me show you the cheapest way to do it by using your mask inputs here. I don't like to use the mask inputs very much, only for certain things they're very good for. Yes, and they are useful. But I don't like to use them a lot if I don't have to. I like to use switch mats and insides and outsides and key mixes. Because I like to see all the nodes in my tree and exactly everything that's going on. And when I have a roto shape or something going into the mask input, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. So I just like to see everything laid out in front of me, see all of my aspects. Just like you have the capability of inverting your roto shape from within your node if you wanted to. Um, but to me, I will just add an invert node because I like to see all of my processes laid out in front of me. So now let's get back to this. I went to my picture here. And I've appended a move to D node. Let me get rid of this and we'll just do it all from scratch. Okay, so I'm going to go to transform and append and move to D. Now I have this move to D node. Now I'm going to take my roto shape that I drew around my sign or around my people, whichever one I wanted to do. And all I got to do is take it and pop it down into my mask input of my move to D node. Now, if I go over to my move to D node and move it, watch me slip this sign out of the picture. Boom. Now all we want to do is go to our roto shape, filter, add a blur to this, and blur it maybe 10, 15 pixels, and get rid of that edge. And now, as you can see, our sign is gone. But I don't like to do it this way, so let me show it you how we do it in the real world. So let's take our sign, and we're going to append to move 2D like always. Transform, move 2D. Okay. Then I'm going to click my original footage, and I'm going to branch a key mix. Go to Layer, Key Mix, Branch. And this branches a key mix off. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Move 2D and put it in the middle node, the middle input of my key mix. Okay, then I'm going to take my Roto Shape and put it in the last input of my key mix. Okay, so now we have this little tree built, built here. I can go into my move 2D parameters and move it, and as you can see, it slips it right out of the scene. And this is the correct way to do it. Instead of just taking that roto shape straight down into your mask of the move 2D, do it this way. Because this is going to be more flexible, you're going to be able to tell what you're doing better, and I just, I just, this is just a better way to do it. Okay? So as you can see, that sign is gone. Let's go over to this, this picture here and see if we can do the same thing to these people. So let's go to transform. Move 2D. Now we have our Move 2D node. Let's go back up, select our picture again, layer, right click key mix, and branch a key mix off. Okay? Bring the Move 2D down into the middle of your key mix. Now we're going to draw a shape. So let's go to Image, select our Roto Shape. We'll work in context, load our picture into the viewer and the parameters of our Roto Shape up down here. And I'm going to go in here and click right around this feller here. You know, you, can, you you'll want to be more accurate than this. You don't have to be this tight on the shape either. It all depends on your scene, what you're going for. Because I'm not sure how this is look. This is I've never done this before to this feller. I'm not sure how the edges are going to be because this is kind of on the fly. So now I have this shape. I'm going to plug my roto shape that I just made into the key mix, last input of my key mix. Now, when I move him. He'll slip right out of the picture. Now see how things are messing up there? We're going to have to do some work here. Adjust to some work to our roto shape. So let's slip him out there. Now I'll go select my roto shape a little bit. Let's bring this in a tad. Because he's showing. Now I'm going to adjust my edges. I'm going to select my edge. And I'm going to go in and just adjust these edges a little bit to kind of make it a little, give it a little blur, a little softness. This is one of the handiest tricks you'll ever learn in Shake. How to remove stuff from an image. 
without really having a clean plate. So now let's see what that looks like without, we may have to add a blur to our roto shape. And it looks like we're going to have to add a little blur. Just to make it a little more believable. So we'll go in, we'll add us a blur there, and we'll blur it. Okay. Now you can go in and fiddle with your roto shape. You know, just to uh, try to make it as believable as you can. And as you can see, for a real fast job, it's not bad. I mean, of course, you go in there and fiddle with your roto shape. You can go in there and fiddle with your blurs and your fades and all this good stuff. And you can make it look really, really, really good. Um, you could remove this tree. You could remove anything you want. So that basically is how you do it, guys. You... Key mix with a move 2D with your roto shape. When you move your key, your two, move 2D, you can slip that sign or person or whatever you want right out of the image, guys. I hope you've learned something on this. I really do. I'm sure you'll be using this trick a whole lot the more you get into this, and um, I hope you do. I hope you've I hope you've got something from it, guys. We'll see you next time.